it's the opportunity to return home to the U.S., uh, not making any other stopovers, and not really leaving the U.S. again until they do get that passport renewed, which can take some time. But it's a solution to this problem of Americans trapped abroad because of, you know, in some level, you know, arbitrary expiration. So a passport may be valid for 10 years. There's nothing truly special about that 10-year mark. During the pandemic, it's been much more difficult to quickly renew a passport, whether because of rules on the ground at consulates and embassies abroad, uh, simply the ability of the US government to process things uh, during COVID when they haven't had as many people in office. Uh, and so there's a backlog. Because there's nothing fundamental about the current expiration date, there's also not any reason why this shouldn't have been done earlier. Um, you know, Americans largely would have been uh, permitted to enter the country if they could present themselves at a border, even without their valid passport. But they uh, aren't able to board a plane. An airline isn't going to be willing to board them you know, without you know, certainty that they're eligible to enter uh, because then they're responsible for returning that passenger and potentially face, you know, face fines for bringing them. So you know, Americans have you know, a pretty fundamental right to return to the U.S., uh, and this accommodates that right. An expired passport is only one possible situation that could throw a monkey wrench into uh, travel right now. Uh, there's a tremendous amount that's uncertain in international travel, and it's really much more cumbersome than it has been in the past. And the reasons for that are that there's ever-changing requirements for entering countries. Those can change from after the time you've booked a ticket and before it comes time to travel. So you really need to keep current on what uh, travel requirements are. For instance, even for domestic travel, masks are still required in airports and on planes, even though the CDC has said that vaccinated people don't need to wear them in most you know, indoor congregant settings. Uh, if you're traveling internationally, you're always going to be subject to the rules of that destination. And remember that much of the world has not been as far along in its vaccination programs as the US.